It is impure in the preparatory path when it is in heat summits patience in supreme worldly dharmas. B. It is pure when the ascetic penetrates into the path of seeing the truths. Why is that? From there on up to the supreme worldly dharmas the yogin considers suffering in four ways. 6 to 8. It is the same for the knowledge of the origin, the knowledge of cessation and the knowledge of the path. Furthermore, the knowledge of suffering cognizes that suffering nature does not really arise. The knowledge of the origin cognizes that dharmas are disjunctive and without conjunction. The knowledge of cessation cognizes that dharmas are forever peaceful and like nirvana. The knowledge of the path cognizes that dharmas are forever pure, without rectitude or evil. 9. The knowledge of the elimination of the impurities cognizes that all dharmas are non-existent. 10. The knowledge of the non-re-rising of the impurities cognizes that dharmas being unreal and indeterminate do not arise. 11. The knowledge conforming to reality is that which can be cognized by the ten preceding knowledges. By means of this knowledge in accordance with reality, the characteristics, conditions, special features and considerations belonging to each of the ten knowledges are cognized, but in this knowledge conforming to reality, there is no characteristic, condition, or special feature. It destroys all considerations of things and itself has none. In the first ten knowledges there is the eye of the Dharma and the eye of wisdom. Semicolon. In the knowledge conforming to reality, there is only the eye of the Buddha. The first ten knowledges are shared by the Arhats Pratyeka Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. The Buddha alone possesses the knowledge conforming to reality. Why? Only the Buddha possesses the Dharma which does not deceive. This is how we know that he alone possesses the knowledge conforming to reality. Finally, when the ten knowledges enter into the knowledge in accordance with reality, they lose their original names and then there is only one true knowledge. Similarly, when all the rivers of the ten directions enter into the Great Sea, they lose their original names and are just called Great Sea. These various explanations of the meaning of the eleven knowledges are given here in brief. A note in red says that the eleven knowledges are finished here. Second section The Three Meditative Stabilizations Sutra The Bodhisattva Mahasattva must fulfill completely the three meditative stabilizations. 1. The concentration with both conceptualization and analysis. 2. The concentration without conceptualization and with analysis only. 3. The concentration with neither conceptualization or analysis. Sastra. Dash. I. The three concentrations according to the Abhidharma. 1. The three kinds of concentration. All the trances and all the absorptions that concentrate the mind are called concentration, sphere of action of right thought in language of the sin. During this beginningless universe the mind is always wandering and without uprightness. But when these spheres of action of right thought are obtained, the mind is straightened out. Thus the progress of the snake is always sinuous, but when it enters into a bamboo tube, it is corrected. This concentration is of three types. 1. In the desire realm. The preparatory concentration of the first trance and the first trance. The concentration is associated with conceptualization and analysis and consequently is called furnished with conceptuality and analysis. 2. In the Dhyanantara, a variety of the first trance, the concentration is associated with analysis alone and is consequently called without conceptuality but with analysis only. 3. From the second trance up to the level of the summit of existence. The concentration is associated with neither conceptuality nor analysis and consequently is called without conceptuality or analysis. 2. Vitarka. Conceptualization. And Vikara. Analysis. Opening parenthesis. Analysis. Dot. Question. The mind and mental events associated with concentration are as many as 20. Why mention only two here, namely, conceptualization and analysis? Answer. Vitarka. Conceptualization. And Vikara. Analysis. 
cause disturbance in concentration. This is why we limit ourselves to mentioning two here. Even if they are good, they are enemies to meditative stabilization and it is difficult to escape from them. Some even say that a mind furnished with vitarka, conceptualization, and vikara is not concentrated. This is why the Buddha stated that the concentration with vitarka, conceptualization, and vikara lack solidity. When the power of vitarka, conceptualization, and vikara analysis is minimal, it is possible to obtain concentration, vitarka, conceptualization, and vikara analysis are able to produce concentration and are also able to destroy it. They are like the wind which is able to bring rain and also able to destroy it. Good Vitarka, Conceptualization, and Vikara, which are of three types can produce the first Dhyana. But when the first Dhyana has been obtained as a result of the Vitarka, Conceptualization, and Vikara, Analysis, that have caused great joy, the mind is distracted and loses concentration. That is why only Vitarka, Conceptualization, and Vikara, Analysis, are mentioned here. Question. What are the differences between Vitarka, Conceptualization, and Vikara? Answer. Vitarka is the coarseness of mind and Vikara. Analysis. Is the subtlety of mind. Vitarka. Conceptualization. Is the first movement of the mind toward its objects. The Vikara. Analysis. That follows is an analysis, a judgment on the beautiful and the ugly. Dot. There are three kinds of course Vitarka. I. The mind of lust E. The mind of malice E. The mind of harmfulness. There are three kinds of good Vitarka. I. The mind of renunciation of desire E. The mind of non-malice E. The mind of non-harmfulness. There are three kinds of subtle Vitarka. I. Thinking of one's relatives E. Thinking of one's country E. Thinking of not dying. Six kinds of Vitarka. Conceptualization. Prevent Samadhi. The three kinds of good Vitarka. Conceptualization. Can open the gate to Samadhi, but if the Vitarka. Conceptualization. And Vikara. Analysis. Are too prominent, they lead to the loss of Samadhi. It is like the wind that propels ships. Beyond certain limits, it destroys the ship. These are the many distinctions to make in regard to Vitarka conceptualization, and vikara. 3. Dharmas with vitarka, etc. Question. The sutras speak of three kinds of dharmas. I. With both vitarka, conceptualization, and vikara e. Without vitarka, and with vikara e. With neither vitarka, conceptualization, or vikara. Analysis. Opening parenthesis. Analysis. Dot. They also speak of the levels with Vitarka, conceptualization, and with Vikara without Vitarka, conceptualization, and with Vikara with neither Vitarka, conceptualization, nor Vikara, analysis, opening parenthesis, analysis, dot. Why speak here of the concentrations with Vitarka, etc.? Only. Answer. Because here we note only what is most useful. 1. The dharmas with vitarka, conceptualization, and with vikara. Analysis are dharmas associated with vitarka, conceptualization, and vikara analysis and occur in Kamadatu, in the Anagamya, and in the first Dhyana. These dharmas are good, bad, and indeterminate. 